Welcome back everybody. So in the last video we uploaded, what we talked about was the scientific journey for beginners. So basically how to go from undergrad through, you know, a master's, a PhD, postdoc, and to work in academia industry. And I think this is a very important video, but one point that we got to was the postdoc era. So basically once you're done with your PhD, if you don't wanna start working yet and you wanna continue with mentored scientific development, you go and you do a postdoc. And we talked about that there is an academic postdoc and that there's an industry postdoc. And so basically what's the difference between the two? And I didn't really touch on it in that video in depth because I actually wanted to make this video, which is gonna go really in depth, um, the what are the differences between the two and the pros and cons of each. So let's kind of get into that. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions about this, make sure to leave them in the comments below or other questions that you may have, leave them in the comments below. This is something that I had thought about maybe making a video on and someone actually did ask specifically about this. So now I'm making a video on it because I think maybe some of you may wanna know what the differences are. or Some of you may not even realize that you could do a postdoc in industry. I know that I didn't know that until much later in my career. So for those of you that don't know, yes, you can in fact do a postdoc in industry. So let's first set up with what is a postdoc? So that's the first thing that we should address. What is a postdoc? Then what we'll do is we'll talk about what a postdoc is in academia and why you may want to do one there. And then we'll talk about what a postdoc in industry looks like and why you may actually want to do one there. So what is a postdoc? A postdoc is an area of you know, your training where you can continue scientific development under the guidance and mentorship of some individual, okay? So the idea is you have basically finished your PhD. So you've kind of molded the way that you critically think about science. You've learned some you know, in-depth area of research. Maybe it's metabolism or cancer or immunology or plant growth. You know, it depends what you're, you studied. You've done all of your core classes you have an idea of the scientific method, you have an idea about you know, how to run a project. But now what you need to do before you could go off on your own and make these larger decisions on your own, you need to practice under somebody's mentorship, right? Riding with training wheels before taking off those training wheels. So let's start with an academic postdoc because I think this is the one that most of you are gonna be familiar with. So this is when you're going to basically, just like when you were in a PhD or working with an advisor, you're gonna go join somebody's lab um, in, in a department and you're gonna work for them as a, as a postdoc. So I did mine at the Joslin Diabetes Center at Harvard Medical School. So I wasn't taking any classes at Harvard. Um, there was someone who was a professor at Harvard and I joined her lab and I was directly her employee and my job was to go to work every day and do research in her lab. And then I would go to conferences and write manuscripts and grants and, and all of that. Now, what do you do in your postdoc? So over 90% of your time is gonna be dedicated to going ahead and working on your research. You need to develop a project and generate data and then write grants and papers off of that. That's gonna be the majority of what you do. 90 some percent generating data, practicing in the lab, lots and lots of lab work. Now the other 10% is gonna be a mixture. You're gonna have grants that you need to write. So you need to get funding. You're going to be writing papers. You obviously wanna publish. That's the whole point of doing a postdoc is to generate data and publish. You're going to be attending you know, seminars within the department, You know, both probably what you're used to. Sometimes it's gonna be people within your institute or department that are presenting. Sometimes it's gonna be external speakers. Sometimes you may have data clubs where you have a couple labs that get together and discuss data. You may have your weekly lab meeting that you're gonna to go to. That's gonna make up the rest of the time. And then sometimes maybe you have an undergrad student or a medical student that comes in to do research and, and you could oversee their work. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna start your postdoc and you're really gonna have really hands-on mentoring. 
They're gonna be, you know, really overseeing all of your work in the lab. They're gonna be really, you know, carefully monitoring what you do. And over time, if you have a good mentor uh, for your postdoc is they should be giving you more and more freedom as you progress until the very end when you're basically have those training wheels off and you're operating independently. And you no longer need to rely on them to make the decisions for you that you're able to make these broader decisions for yourself. So that's really what should be happening within an academic postdoc. Now, the reason that you would want to do a, a academic postdoc is that obviously you want to go into academia. Now, the nice thing about doing an academic postdoc is that it translates well whether you want to do academia or industry. So if you want to go into academia, what you're doing is you're staying in academia, you're able to generate grants and to get a history of like submitting NIH grants, for example, and saying, yes, I can be funded and I have funding to be able to start up my own lab. Um, it's really critical to be in an academic postdoc. However, if you do want to go over to industry, you can. So a lot of the skills that you learn within an academic postdoc are going to translate over pretty nicely um, to a scientist role in industry. So you can translate over. So I would say the nicest thing about doing an academic postdoc is just that flexibility of if you want to become a professor, you can. However, if you're not sure and you think maybe you want to go into industry, you still have that option. So you basically have um, no decisions been made for you. You could still do either one. That's the nicest thing. The other thing is that I think what it does really better than what you will get from an industry postdoc is set you up to publish. So you're able to publish more papers. It's going to give you the option to really dive deeper than you ever have before into mechanism. In industry, they don't care about mechanism quite as much. That's more of an academic question. And so if you really want to learn how to identify a mechanism and dive into it, that's where an academic postdoc is going to be helpful. And that does actually help as you move, you know, even into industry, being able to really work critically through the process of identifying mechanism is, is still a really important skill set to have. So it's not like it's a wasted skill set or anything like that. Um, now, what would be the flip side then? What is a disadvantage of, of doing this? Well, you don't have any industry experience. So if you do end up deciding to go into industry, it's not like it's impossible, but it is much harder than if you started off in industry. One of the things that they always, always look for in industry is we want somebody with X amount of years of industry experience. And if you done a postdoc in industry, they count that as industry experience. And the reason that they want that is not because you're a better scientist if you're in industry. It's, it's nothing like that. It's just, it's a different world. The lingo and the dialogue is different. The expectations are different. The pace is different. What's important to them in terms of scientific inquiry is different. Everything's much different in industry. And they want someone that has that experience, okay? So when would it be a good idea to do a postdoc in industry? That is really for somebody that knows deep down, I don't want to be a PI. My dream is to go into industry and work in industry. And if you already know that's your goal, some of you may be able to just make the jump directly from your PhD into a scientist position, especially if you have connections. There are people that do that. Now, that is really, really hard. Typically, you need a postdoc position. Um, and in fact, pretty much everyone has a postdoc position. And so they don't even consider that years of experience because pretty much everyone applying for these positions has three years or, or more of a postdoc experience. So what is an industry postdoc then? So again, instead of going to a department at, an in, at a university, you would be going to a company. So let's say that you go to Pfizer. You know, Pfizer is one of the biggest companies in the world. You could go to Pfizer and you could go to their internal medicine unit within Pfizer. And what you would do is you would be paired up with either a high level scientist or some kind of a director or VP and they would basically be overseeing your work. And it would be a postdoc for X amount of years. And essentially what it is, is it's gonna be training. 
where you're continuing again, similar to in academia, you're continuing to develop those scientific skills, working that scientific method. And again, similar to academia, it should start very hands-on and then start to tr transition to a more hands-off you know, type of role. Now, the difference is the extracurriculars that you do. So your research may not necessarily be focused on mechanism. It may be more focused on drug delivery or something specific to a druggable target. So the type of research you're doing is gonna be different. You're gonna be attending different kinds of meetings, right? So you're not at an academic institute. So some of your meetings are gonna be more towards the company's pipeline and how are we advancing this drug or that drug. You're gonna get exposure to the different scientists and VPs and directors. So you're gonna get that exposure to what is the corporate lingo, the company lingo, the dialogue, what's important to, to the people, the scientists that are in industry. Um, and there's not going to be so much as a focus on writing manuscripts, although that may be part of it, but you may get other expertise. So for example, you may be able to, uh, get a patent. So you may be able to, you know, discover something new and get a patent form and be able to put that on your CV where maybe you wouldn't get that in, 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 uh, academia. But the biggest drawback I think to doing a postdoc in industry is that you can't then transition very easily over to academia. So if you go over to industry, it's hard to go back to academia because you don't have that um, any funding to stand on. You don't have any grants. It, it becomes very, very difficult. So I think that's really the biggest drawback. So at the end of the day, what I would recommend for, for those of you that are interested in, in doing a postdoc, either in academia or in industry, is to think about your long-term goal. If you want the possibility of working in academia, then hands down, the best decision is to go the academic route. If you are diehard set on, I don't want to go in academia, I want to go into industry, then doing an industry postdoc is probably the best choice. Now, where it becomes a gray area are for those people that are not quite sure. And if you're really not quite sure, again, just to leave all doors open, I think doing the academic postdoc is probably the best choice, just because you still have that flexibility of where you wanna go. But I hope this kind of answers the question of like, what are some of the differences between the two and maybe who should be doing which ones? So I think in almost all cases, the best option is to do an academic postdoc. Really, the only time you really want to be doing that industry postdoc is if you feel like industry is the way I want to go. Like, I know I don't want to do anything else. I just want to go into industry. Then sometimes it's a really good decision to do those. Um, now, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you have more questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And we could get into stuff like that. Um, you know, for example, there may be other things I didn't mention, like pay. So... You're going to get paid more if you do a postdoc in industry. You know, a little extra tidbit there. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.